If there is one thing in the paranormal that genuinely, genuinely freaks me out, it's mimics. And I'm not talking about those mimics that you hear like, hello, or Brittany. (laughs) That's a horrible impression of a mimic. I'm talking about the physical mimics. The ones who literally mimic you physically. So it's like your doppelganger is right in front of you. Or if you're a viewer of mine for years, Veronica is in front of me. (laughs) And I don't mean to laugh. It's just, I don't know. I just make myself laugh all the time, obviously. But that freaks me out more than anything in the paranormal. So a mimic pretends or mimics, literally mimics, the voice of your loved one. So, you know, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your wife, your husband, your sister, your brother, your mom, your dad, your grandma, your grandpa. It will choose somebody who is close to you to mimic. So you will hear its voice calling you or saying something when really that's not your your loved one. That's not your friend. That's not your boyfriend. That's not your husband. That's not your wife. That's not your girlfriend. It's the freaking mimic trying to lure you in because that is a voice that you trust. But they say, if you hear somebody calling your name, do not answer it. If you hear someone saying hello, but that's the thing, because it's mimicking your friends and stuff. I guess if your friend is out or your husband's out and then you hear them, you'd be like, what the heck? Like, why'd you... I didn't know you were home so fast, but that's what your natural reaction would be. So mimics have been taking over my FYP on TikTok. I've been watching so many videos. The thing is, the paranormal has become a bit of a joke as of lately. Uh, I don't even know what's real or fake anymore. (laughs) I literally don't. I want to believe these things are really happening to people. I because I do believe obviously in the paranormal like you guys know I've had my own experiences before as well but as we do know there are a lot of people who will make stuff up on the internet so sometimes it's hard to tell the difference is this real is this fake you know we got apps today that literally put photos of ghosts it looks like a ghost is in the photo when really it's not but mimics have always freaked me out but as of lately so I came across this young lady's young lady like who the hell am I she is a young lady but like why am I speaking like that I came across her TikTok and it was really creepy her husband walks in and sees her physical mimic sitting there on the chair and it said something to her it said something to her husband but he knew it wasn't her he continues to walk upstairs and he calls out to her and she's like you know like yeah I'm up here that is what freaks me out the physical how they can physically mimic you. I think what's also scary about mimics, and I think you can tell the difference between like who they're trying to mimic, is the fact that they don't move. So from people's experiences, the mimic is just holding still the whole time and their back is facing them. If my future husband walked in on me and my back is facing towards him, and I'm like, hey, Bill, (laughs) like, he would know that's not me. Are you kidding me? Like, why would I have my back and why am I not moving? Like, why are they always just... I don't get it. Why doesn't anyone go up to them? Now I know people will be like, no, you're not supposed to go up to them. But can I be honest for a second? I think I've dealt with a mimic like since I was a kid. I'm always hearing someone say my name in my ear. It's never far away, but that's another thing that I've noticed with mimics. You hear them at a distance. I've never really, or maybe I have like sometimes. Usually when I hear someone calling my name, it's like right in my ear, but I always thought it was my guardian angel. And sometimes, you know, I'll be like, yeah, I answer them and then everyone's like whoa you're not supposed to answer them anytime I answer no one ever responds back and that's another thing that I've seen in these videos usually the mimic will be like hello and then the person's like yeah hello (laughs) there's nothing else after that but I guess you have to actually physically get up and go follow the voice and that's what people are telling you not to do I've seen that there's almost a slight difference So say, for instance, I'm a mimic. Hey, guys, it's Brittany. Well, I didn't even say that today in today's video. Whatever. Maybe I am a mimic. I'm I'm doing so bad at it. No, but it's like me being a mimic. And I say like, hey, guys, it's Brittany. I feel like the tone of voice is is slightly deeper and not as enthusiastic. I mean, it depends on the person, right, and their personality. But I almost feel like there's this certain tone of voice in these mimics. It's like... 
They're almost monotone in a way. Which takes me into this next part. Mimics can mimic you as well. And you want to know what's really creepy. So like I was saying earlier, I think I've dealt with mimics because I hear my name all the time. Like someone's calling my name. You know what the voice sounds like who's calling my name? It sounds like me. So I'll be like, yeah, hello. <laughs> I don't know why I answer it because I'm just like, what the heck? Like I hear it. Or sometimes I don't answer. I just kind of look and wait to see if I'll hear anything else. I never hear anything else. If I do answer to it, still no response back. But it literally sounds like me. Just saying, hey, or Brittany. That's literally, that's what it sounds like. Brittany. To me, I always thought, oh, it's just like my guardian angel warning me about this. Like, stay away from this or giving me a sign. You guys know me with my signs, especially with numerology, 444, 666, 777, 1111. Usually I will hear it like around those times. Like someone's like, girl, we're trying to get to you. And that's why they're calling out my name. But is it a freaking mimic? Now I'm all confused. If it is a mimic though, like I'm kind of living. I'm actually living for that. But in my experience, even though I'm not really aware that I was a mimic, because I was like, oh, it's, you know, guardian angel or spirit guide or whatever, because I feel like whoever my spirit guide is works overtime. <laughs> Absolutely works overtime for me. But I love you. <laughs> if you're watching this, well, you are obviously, but you're physically here. What am I talking about? Why am I talking to the camera? You're literally like beside me. It's probably rolling his eyes at me. Anyways. <laughs> The mimic, though, like, I just, I don't know. Can someone just go up to it? Because I have been calling out to my mimic, but that's not, like, you're not supposed to call out. They have to call out to you first. But I've been trying to call out to mine and doesn't answer me. So if anyone else experiences a mimic, can you just, you know, if you're safe or whatever the situation is going on, I mean, obviously, I don't want to force you to go up to your mimic. But what happens when you do? Nobody has said what happens when you, when it happens. So, I mean, if I hear my name again and I call it out or I say like, hey, like what's going on? I'm going to ask it a question like, yes, what do you want? Oh, that's a good thing to ask. What do you want? And if it doesn't reply to you, I don't know what to do. I'm not going to be chasing a mimic around 24 seven. So when people are telling you, don't address it, don't talk to it. Well, it doesn't even talk back to me. So like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Anyways, uh, I live for mimics. They freak me out, though. Genuinely, they terrify me. That freaks me out, especially if it is. <laughs> I love how I'm like going back and forth. No, you know, genuinely it count how many times I'm saying genuinely take a drink when I say it, take a shot, whatever, take a Pepsi shot, whatever, whatever you drink. I don't know. Anyways, I don't drink uh, <laughs> or eat McDonald's, eat a McDonald's fry, like whatever you'll snack it on. Keep putting it in your mouth every time I say genuinely, because I feel like I keep saying that in this video. That's like my word of the month. Uh, anyways. Let me know what happens to you if you actually talk to it or if you have in the past, like what happened or if you physically see it, do you go up to it? What, what happens when you go up to it? Does it like disappear? Does it turn around? I don't get it because then it's like, okay, well, duh, obviously you're a mimic, but then I guess, you know, mimics go after the people that you're closest to. I don't think the mimic who's mimicking you is going to physically appear in front of you because that kind of defeats the whole point because they're trying to trick others into believing that's you. So then they will go up to them. They'll lure those people in. So anyway, scratch what I just said. I don't think it's going to mimic you in front of you, but then again, it calls your name. But I guess if they are calling you out with your own damn voice, then that's gonna be confusing. And of course you're gonna be like, what? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's people who sound similar to you, whatever, I don't know. But that's my take on mimics. One of my best friends, had a mimic situation this was like years ago she's actually made videos about it as well but her she heard her sister outside of her window calling her name when her sister wasn't even there and that story still freaks me out she's told it to me a few times i've watched her videos about it but it's just that freaks me out because she knew it wasn't her sister but she heard her sister's voice outside her window like trying to get her attention and that's what they do Woo, I got chills now. But anyways, let me know if you've experienced a mimic, if you know somebody who's experienced a mimic trying to mimic you, that is terrifying. Or if you've heard your own voice calling out to you, or if you've seen a physical mimic of yourself, which I have not heard of, that would be very interesting. It'd be terrifying. I'd be like, what, like, what are you doing? That freaks me out. Though. Like, you guys know my fear with my reflection. I don't know. I just... What is this like Alex Drake and Spencer Hastings that <laughs> even though that wasn't 
too scary unless like your mimic anyways we're getting into a whole different topic your mimic has a british accent randomly of like what the heck anyways <laughs> Let me know your experience if you've had ex an experience with mimics. Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, you rock my world in the song lyrics. Michael Jackson, hashtag team, Brady44, hashtag Marutha Runs. Hey, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>